It's the Napa Auto Parts Gopher 50, and it's the Dixie Chopper Feel the Thunder. In the lap number one, Chris Madden gets the early advantage, but James, we just saw him right there coming off turn number four, side by side by side, two by two by two, all the way through the field. Going to be hammered down for a while here as they head down the main straightaway around his three-eighths mile oval. Chris Madden has led the first two laps down at 42nd. Then down the back straight with the pressure from the valve elite number one of Hudson O'Neill, second of the points. Now he swings out wide. Davenport makes a run on the bottom at the line. A car link. Matt still has the lead. It was two tenths of a second as they battle in turn number two. Down the back straight away. Here comes Davenport up top in the Nutrient Ag Solutions 49. Will we have our first lead change of the race, Dustin Jerry? Davenport trying to pin Matt behind the lap car, not able to get by. And as those two drivers get mired behind lap driving, here comes Hudson O'Neill. O'Neill down to the end side of Jonathan Davenport in the battle for second. J.D. Moore momentum up top. Here comes Timothy Robert McCready at 39 up to fourth. The two-time and reigning series champion. We got four cars for leading to one O'Neill on the bottom. Up Davenport and he'll take the second spot in left 17. Look at the 32 of Bobby Pierce trying to work his way by on the bottom. He's trying to wash up in front of the racetrack. Meanwhile, Madden has slipped up coming off the corner and opens up the deal for the door for Hudson O'Neill. O'Neill with a slider in turns three and four. You've got a new race leader. It's the new deal. Hudson O'Neill. McCready up to third. Bobby Pierce up to fourth. Go! And they slide up the track and Madden gets into the wall and O'Neill retakes the lead. What an eventful lap 37 that was. Here comes Pierce. Here comes McCready at the line. Oh, oh no. no. We're about to find out. 48 laps in the books in the 75 lap main event. Hudson O'Neill brings him back to the green flag. Brandon Shepard gonna try to slide Bobby Pierce for the second spot. He clears him momentarily. Pierce will try to drive back down underneath the beat five down the back straightaway. Side by side, land of Lincoln. Brandon Shepard in the Rumley beat five. Bobby Pierce in the family 32. Move Brandon Shepard up to second. Pierce third. still leads one second the advantage. They're going to the top. Moran trying to make the bottom work. Devin up to fifth. David sixth, and it's Thornton Alverson, Madden, Overton, your top 10. It's still Hudson O'Neill, 50 down, 25 to go. At the Racing Furrows restart zone with 20 to go. In the Nap Auto Parts, go for 50 at Deer Creek Speedway in Minnesota. Bobby Pierce way up top gets a run into turn number one on O'Neill. He gets a run on your race leader. Look at Tim McCready on the bottom. There's Jonathan Davenport, Brandon Shepard up top. We told you, man, these restarts at Deer Creek are something else. Here comes JD down to the inside. Can't make it stick. Brandon Shepard will drive back by on the high side. Top really good right now. That middle trying to go away. Matt trying to get back up in there. He's in fifth. McCready back to sixth. McCready and Madden going at it side by side as we work lap 57 here tonight. They will have nine laps to go. Here comes Brandon Shepard on the bottom. Dallas battles down the back straight away. He and Pierce go side by side. Here comes Davenport as they dive into third three. Shepard, O'Neill still leads. It's treacherous in four. Look at Brandon Shepard. Thought he had a run. Instead, Pierce able to keep the nose of the 32 clean. One little bobble is all it takes. We've seen it with O'Neill. We've seen it with Pierce. We've seen it with others. Right now, they're battling for over $50,000. Here at Deer Creek and Jonathan Davenport absolutely hammered the wall down in three and four. Right now, it's still O'Neill one second, 67 scored as he stretches it out. He wants it to stay green. He's up there tiptoeing the top. Here comes Shepard through the middle on Pierce at the line. Pierce still has the spot. Oh, oh man, it's, seven to go. It's just it's I'm getting so good. nervous. It's Dustin so Jared. good, man. Yes, it is. Brandon Shepard just he's good. He's smooth in the middle. I just don't know that's the place that it's gonna be, that he needs to run in order to win this race. They'll have three to go. Pierce is gonna set him up. You know what's coming. Three to go to settle it for fifty thousand. He is there in the turn number one, Dustin. Does he wait until the last lap or does he try to throw the slider now? Do you have to take that run when you got it? Hudson O'Neill a little bit better that time coming off turn number two. This time by two laps to go. Bobby Pierce, Hudson O'Neill battling it out for fifty grand here at the creek. Oh man, you know what's coming. He's gonna try to set him up out at two. This reminds you of Florence so much, Dad, and racing there. O'Neill Pierce to the side. It 
white flag. Bobby Pierce is there. Off a turn for Dustin for $50,000. They're on the final lap. Final time around. Hudson O'Neill trying to hang on for one more lap. He slips up a little bit in turn number two. Does that open up the door for Bobby Pierce? Pierce, here comes the slider. He drives it in deep to three and four. He slides up the racetrack. Hudson O'Neill drives under him at the line. No. And no. he photo finish. We will have to wait for the official call from Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series officials in a near photo finish in the Napa Auto Parts Go for 50 here at Deer Creek Speedway. We're going to step in because we do have an official ruling with the Whoa. Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series officials. James, it was a Photo finish at the line, Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. They've reviewed the replays. They've looked at the timing and scoring, and it is official by two one thousandths of a second. Your winner of the Napa Auto Parts Go for 50 is the smooth operator, Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce emerges down in a Lucas Oil victory lane, $50,000, $51,000 richer. Second win of the year, he picked up 30,000 at Fairbury Speedway back in May.